Planck's law describes the electromagnetic radiation emitted by a black body in thermal equilibrium at a definite temperature. The law is named after Max Planck, who originally proposed it in 1900. It is a pioneering result of modern physics and quantum theory. The spectral radiance of a body, B nu, describes the amount of energy it gives off as radiation of different frequencies. Planck showed that the spectral radiance of a body at absolute temperature T is given by where K B the Boltzmann constant, H the Planck constant, and C the speed of light in the medium, whether material or vacuum. The spectral radiance can also be measured per unit wavelength instead of per unit frequency. In this case, it is given by. The law may also be expressed in other terms, such as the number of photons emitted at a certain wavelength, or the energy density in a volume of radiation. The SI units of B nu are W senior minus 1 m minus 2 h z minus 1, while those of B lambda are W senior minus 1 m minus 3. In the limit of low frequencies, Planck's law tends to the Rayleigh genes law, while in the limit of high frequencies it tends to the Wien approximation. Max Planck developed the law in 1900, originally with only empirically determined constants, and later showed that Expressed as an energy distribution, it is the unique stable distribution for radiation in thermodynamic equilibrium. As an energy distribution, it is one of a family of thermal equilibrium distributions which include the Bose-Einstein distribution, the Fermi-Dirac distribution and the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Introduction Every physical body spontaneously and continuously emits electromagnetic radiation. Near thermodynamic equilibrium, the emitted radiation is nearly described by Planck's law. Because of its dependence on temperature, Planck radiation is said to be thermal radiation. The higher the temperature of a body, the more radiation it emits at every wavelength. Planck radiation has a maximum intensity at a specific wavelength that depends on the temperature. For example, at room temperature, a body emits thermal radiation that is mostly infrared and invisible. At higher temperatures the amount of infrared radiation increases and can be felt as heat, and the body glows visibly red. At even higher temperatures, a body is dazzlingly bright yellow or blue-white and emits significant amounts of short-wavelength radiation, including ultraviolet and even X-rays. The surface of the sun emits large amounts of both infrared and ultraviolet radiation, its emission is peaked in the visible spectrum. Planck radiation is the greatest amount of radiation that anybody at thermal equilibrium can emit from its surface. Whatever its chemical composition or surface structure, it is in general dependent on chemical composition and physical structure, on temperature, on the wavelength, on the angle of passage and on the polarization. The emissivity of a natural interface is always between epsilon equals 0 and 1. A body that interfaces with another medium which both has epsilon equals 1 and absorbs all the radiation incident upon it, is said to be a black body. The surface of a black body can be modeled by a small hole in the wall of a large enclosure which is maintained at a uniform temperature with opaque walls that at every wavelength, are not perfectly reflective. At equilibrium, the radiation inside this enclosure follows Planck's law, and so will the radiation coming out of the small hole. Just as the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is the unique maximum entropy energy distribution for a gas of material particles at thermal equilibrium, so is Planck's distribution for a gas of photons. By contrast to a material gas where the masses and number of particles play a role, the spectral radiance, pressure and energy density of a photon gas at thermal equilibrium are entirely determined by the temperature. If the photon gas is not initially Planckian, the second law of thermodynamics guarantees that interactions will cause the photon energy distribution to change and approach the Planck distribution. In such an approach to thermodynamic equilibrium, photons are created or annihilated in the right numbers and with the right energies to fill the cavity with a Planck distribution until they reach the equilibrium temperature. 
It is as if the gas is a mixture of subgasses, one for every band of wavelengths, and each subgas eventually attains the common temperature. The quantity B nu is the spectral radiance as a function of temperature and frequency. It has units of Wm minus 2 senior minus 1 Hz minus 1 in the SI system. An infinitesimal amount of power B nu cos theta da d omega d nu is radiated in the direction described by the angle theta from the surface normal from infinitesimal surface area da into infinitesimal solid angle d omega in an infinitesimal frequency band of width d nu centered on frequency nu. The total power radiated radiated into any solid angle is the integral of B nu over those three quantities, and is given by the Stefan Boltzmann law. The spectral radiance of Planckian radiation from a black body has the same value for every direction and angle of polarization, and so the black body is said to be a Lambertian radiator. Different forms Planck's law can be encountered in several forms depending on the conventions and preferences of different scientific fields. The various forms of the law for spectral radiance are summarized in the table below. Forms on the left are most often encountered in experimental fields, while those on the right are most often encountered in theoretical fields. These distributions represent the spectral radiance of black bodies, the power emitted from the emitting surface per unit projected area of emitting surface, per unit solid angle, per spectral unit. Since the radiance is isotropic, the power emitted at an angle to the normal is proportional to the projected area, and therefore to the cosine of that angle as per Lambert's cosine law, and is unpolarized. Correspondence between spectral variable forms Different spectral variables require different corresponding forms of expression of the law. In general, one may not convert between the various forms of Planck's law simply by substituting one variable for another, because this would not take into account that the different forms have different units. Wavelength and frequency units are reciprocal. Corresponding forms of expression are related because they express one and the same physical fact. For a particular physical spectral increment, a corresponding particular physical energy increment is radiated. This is so whether it is expressed in terms of an increment of frequency, d nu, or, correspondingly, of wavelength, d lambda. Introduction of a minus sign can indicate that an increment of frequency corresponds with decrement of wavelength. For the above corresponding forms of expression of the spectral radiance, one may use an obvious expansion of notation, temporarily for the present calculation only. Then, for a particular spectral increment, the particular physical energy increment may be written which leads to also nu equals c lambda, so that d nu d lambda equals minus c lambda 2. Substitution gives the correspondence between the frequency and wavelength forms with their different dimensions and units. Consequently, evidently, the location of the peak of the spectral distribution for Planck's law depends on the choice of spectral variable. Nevertheless, in a manner of speaking, this formula means that the shape of the spectral distribution is independent of temperature. According to Wien's displacement law, as detailed below in the subsection percentiles of the section, properties, Spectral energy density form Planck's law can also be written in terms of the spectral energy density by multiplying b by 4 pi c. These distributions have units of energy per volume per spectral unit. First and second radiation constants in the above variants of Planck's law. The wavelength and wave number variants use the terms 2hc2 and hc kb which comprise physical constants only. Consequently, these terms can be considered as physical constants themselves, and are therefore referred to as the first radiation constant C1L and the second radiation constant C2 with C1L equals 2HC2 and C2 equals HC KB. Using the radiation constants, the wavelength variant of Planck's law can be simplified to and the wave number variant can be simplified correspondingly. L is used here instead of B because it is the SI symbol for spectral radiance. 
the L in C1L refers to that. This reference is necessary because Planck's law can be reformulated to give spectral radiant excitance M rather than spectral radiance L, in which case C1 replaces C1L, with C1 equals 2 pi H C2, so that Planck's law for spectral radiant excitance can be written as derivation. Consider a cube of side L with conducting walls filled with electromagnetic radiation in thermal equilibrium at temperature T. If there is a small hole in one of the walls, the radiation emitted from the hole will be characteristic of a perfect black body. We will first calculate the spectral energy density within the cavity and then determine the spectral radiance of the emitted radiation. At the walls of the cube, the parallel component of the electric field and the orthogonal component of the magnetic field must vanish. Analogous to the wave function of a particle in a box, one finds that the fields are superpositions of periodic functions. The three wavelengths λ1, λ2, and λ3, in the three directions orthogonal to the walls can be, where the near positive integers. For each set of integers neither are two linear independent solutions. According to quantum theory, the energy levels of a mode are given by. The quantum number R can be interpreted as the number of photons in the mode. The two modes for each set of Ni correspond to the two polarization states of the photon which has a spin of 1. Note that for R equals 0 the energy of the mode is not 0. This vacuum energy of the electromagnetic field is responsible for the Casimir effect. In the following we will calculate the internal energy of the box at absolute temperature T. According to statistical mechanics, the probability distribution over the energy levels of a particular mode is given by, here the denominator Z, is the partition function of a single mode and makes PR properly normalized. Here we have implicitly defined which is the energy of a single photon. As explained here, the average energy in a mode can be expressed in terms of the partition function. This formula, apart from the first vacuum energy term, is a special case of the general formula for particles obeying Bose-Einstein statistics. Since there is no restriction on the total number of photons, the chemical potential is zero. If we measure the energy relative to the ground state, the total energy in the box follows by summing E minus epsilon, 2 over all allowed single photon states. This can be done exactly in the thermodynamic limit as L approaches infinity. In this limit, epsilon becomes continuous and we can then integrate E minus epsilon, 2 over this parameter. To calculate the energy in the box in this way, we need to evaluate how many photon states there are in a given energy range. To calculate the density of states we rewrite equation as follows, where n is the norm of the vector n equals for every vector n with integer components larger than or equal to zero, there are two photon states. This means that the number of photon states in a certain region of n space is twice the volume of that region. An energy range of the epsilon corresponds to shell of thickness dn equals 2 L h c d epsilon in n space. Because the components of n have to be positive, this shell spans an octant of a sphere. The number of photon states g d epsilon in an energy range d epsilon is thus given by inserting this in EQ gives. From this equation one can derive the spectral energy density as a function of frequency u nu and as a function of wavelength u lambda, where n, where this is also a spectral energy density function with units of energy per unit wavelength per unit volume. Integrals of this type for Bose and Fermi gases can be expressed in terms of polylogarithms. In this case, however, it is possible to calculate the integral in closed form using only elementary functions. 
substituting an EQ, makes the integration variable dimensionless giving, where J is a Bose-Einstein integral given by, the total electromagnetic energy inside the box is thus given by, where V equals L3 is the volume of the box. The combination HC, KB has the value 7004143877700000. Oh, 14,387.770 micrometers K. This is not the Stefan Boltzmann law, but it can be written more compactly using the Stefan Boltzmann constant sigma, giving the constant for sigma. C is sometimes called the radiation constant. Since the radiation is the same in all directions, and propagates at the speed of light, the spectral radiance of radiation exiting the small hole is which yields it can be converted to an expression for B lambda in wavelength units by substituting u by math c lambda and evaluating note that dimensional analysis shows that the unit of stair radians shown in the denominator of left-hand side of the equation above, is generated in and carried through the derivation but does not appear in any of the dimensions for any element on the left-hand side of the equation. This derivation is based on Bremen-Mullen 1989.